Good morning friends. Welcome back to my kitchen or welcome if you are new. I am Denise. Today is Saturday so I am going to get some prepping done for the week. In here I'm going to boil water to cook up the rest of these medium sized pasta shells. I'm going to make me a pasta salad for the upcoming week. I have some onion chopped for that. I have another onion here to chop. I'm going to shred up this whole block of cheese because I need some for my pasta salad. And we'll be needing some during the week. I like using my uh, shredder box here rather than the food processor. Okay, block of cheese is shredded. some for my pasta salad. And the rest I'll put in the refrigerator. And I have some cooked chicken here left over from the other night. I'm going to add that to here. Just going to chop it up a little bit more. I think this was a rotisserie chicken I had purchased. Took it out of the freezer for dinner the other night and didn't use it all. Alright, I'm thinking that'll be good. Add some chopped onion. And I think I'm going to put some cauliflower in here also. Chop this up into little pieces. Okay, there's that. Sounds like my water might be boiling. Well, I'm just going to add the rest of this. It's probably a cup, cup and a half. And I'm going to boil this for. 11 minutes to el dente okay my timer just went off these have been boiling for 11 minutes and they are tender I just checked one so now I'm going to drain them and rinse them in cold water. Okay. I like adding zesty, zesty Italian dressing. And French. I like this combination on a pasta salad. Okay. Now I have lunches for most of the week. So let's 
one thing done. I'll bring you back for the next thing. Okay, friends, I had to run to our local grocery store and pick up a head of lettuce. I thought what I had in the fridge would be enough for the week, but it's not. So I picked up a head, and now I'm going to show you how I take care of it and get it in the fridge so it lasts longer. I'm going to take off a couple of the outer leaves, bang the core on the counter. I'm going to save off a couple big leaves because tomorrow we're going to have grilled hamburgers. So I like leaf, a lettuce leaf on it. And the rest I'm just going to chop up. I will rinse that off. So I just chop it, put it in my strainer. Now I'll rinse it off. And one of the big components of keeping lettuce fresh for longer is dry. So, after I get it rinsed off good, put it in my salad spinner and spin it dry. That's a lot of water. That's at least a half a cup. I'll give it another quick spin. Another tablespoon. Okay, now another key factor that I have found is a glass container. And I lay paper towel in there. This lettuce is good and dry. Find another one. I have a head of lettuce all prepped up, ready to use, and it will stay fresh for over a week. Okay, another thing I always like to try to have on hand in the refrigerator are some chopped up onions, because we eat quite a bit of onion here, so I like to have it chopped up. And I've noticed that if I cut the on, ooh, if I cut the onion in half and then run it under cold water, I don't tear up nearly as much. Cut that off. Add it to this one because we'll be using quite a bit of onion this week. And the second half. There, no tears. Not even 
and sniffling. I'm going to use that piece. Okay, now I have an onion ready. Okay, now I'm going to make up my smoothies for the week. I have a lot of new subscribers and viewers. So I thought I would show you again. I start out with about a cup of milk and a third cup of yogurt is what this looks like. I usually never measure anything when it comes to my smoothies. And honey, put in probably two tablespoons of honey. And I always keep bananas in the freezer that I let get ripe. And then I peel them and put them in the freezer, break them in half. So there's three chunks of banana. And then I have this triple berry blend. Blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. This is what I have on hand this time. I'll put a decent sized handful in there and then my strawberries put a handful of them in and then I have here a ninja blender I'm just going to blend it up until it's smooth I think I'm going to add just a little bit more milk. It's looking a little too thick. And there we go. I work four 10 hour days. So I make up four of them and put them down in the freezer and then before I leave for work I go and grab one and then in about an hour or so they are ready for me to start drinking. And these are the glasses I have. I got these at the Dollar Tree last spring. Fill it up. And that is my smoothies. So I'm going to get all this done and then I'll bring you back for something else. Okay, now I am going to make seasoned pretzels. I need to preheat my oven to 200 degrees. And I'm going to use two one pound bag of Clancy's pretzels, mini twist. These are just what I pick up at Aldi. And I had to put one bag into this container when we got home because there was a cut in the bag that I didn't notice. So now for the seasonings. I need a half a teaspoon of dill weed. A half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and 
and a half a tablespoon of black pepper. and a package of ranch powder mix, which is three tablespoons. I'm just gonna stir this to combine the seasonings. Now I need 12 ounces of vegetable oil. The recipe calls for popcorn butter oil, but I don't buy that stuff anymore because it's way too expensive. So I just use vegetable oil. It's all good. And I'm a little shy of 12 ounces, but that'll be okay. I'm going to pour the oil over the pretzels. Stir it. Want to get all them pretzels coated in oil. And then we're going to pour the seasoning over it. And we're going to stir again to get these pretzels coated in the seasoning. Okay, these are going to bake in the 200 degree oven for two hours. And I'm going to stir them every 20 minutes. So I'll bring you back when they're done. Okay, the seasoned pretzels are done. They've been sitting here for about 10 minutes cooling. And I make these pretzels quite often because they are really super good. They make for a nice snack. There, I'll have to find another container for those. Okay, I'd like to thank you for spending this time in the kitchen with me. If you enjoy kitchen content like this, give the video a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you part of my YouTube family. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.